Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We've been looking forward to this one all week long. A couple of quality teams, both of them ranked in the top 25, and both of them set to square off right now. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. player it's one of the toughest stadiums in the country to play in. Kyle Field is the site of today's battle. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He steps out at the 36. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Taken down right around the 46-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Draw play, and the defense was ready for it. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Need to get it inside the 44. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Schmidt was the intended receiver on the play. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. George is back deep to return. And he's tackled at the 19. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. The back gets three on the carry. It's 
second and seven. Ball on the 22-yard line. Five wide. Throws a bullet over the middle. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's at midfield, and he's taken down around the 44-yard line. First down. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled around the 43-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. And a quick throw. He's still moving. He's out of bounds around the 30-yard line. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play action, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at, to make sure you do a good job of selling the route and getting in position to give an open target to the quarterback. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 19. Fires right side, got his tailback, and they push him out at about the 21. And this play is number eight on the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. From the 21-yard line, it's third down. He's going right. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. And he converts the extra point. A nice nine play, 81 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 7 0. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 22 yard line. Miami's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for him so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. He's going to try and scramble. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And down he goes around the 33-yard line. From their own 33-yard line, first down. He takes it right side for a good game. the 42-yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Ready! 
He unloads it. And it's incomplete. Chapman was the intended target on the play. And that will make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended. And now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. George is the deep man awaiting the return. He'll take it from the 18. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. The Hurricanes offense, I thought, answered the doubters big time with an impressive opening drive, and they got on the board first. Yeah, when you're in a hostile environment, you want to play with a little bit of a chip on your shoulder and just show people that you're not intimidated by the environment. They sure did that that first time out. Miami is up by a touchdown. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Off the right side, doesn't get much. Good tackle. Under pressure, they bring the quarterback down. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Punts away. This one's like a line drive. Calls for the fair catch. The Hurricanes have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen, maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. From their own 37-yard line, second down. Scrambling around. They bring him down. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. Miami in front, 7-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. for both the quarterback and receiver. But it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Makes the grab and steps out right away. He tackles him for a loss. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That brings him second and goal. They're at the eight. Second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Game four on one play. That makes it three more. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Check, check, check. Ready, check, check, check. Touchdown, Aggies! He made a great move to get into the end 
end zone. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. Texas A&M is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Now he pitches it. Tackle at about the 25-yard line. Second down at seven coming up here. Ball on the 25. They're packed in tight on the line. Setting up the play action. He's to the 40. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. Incomplete. What of the screen? I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Let's go! Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And he's tackled at the 38. First down. From the 38-yard line, first down. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, Let's go! Makes it out to about the 26. That's a deal of 12 on the play. First down. bring him down for a loss on the play. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 29-yard line. Deep ball laying it out there. This is the eighth play of this drive. Complete. He's got room. He's at the 20. He's taken down around the 16-yard line. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Might have been some early movement up front. Ball start. Offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still fourth down. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 26. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. 
In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Gets to about the 27-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Steps up and goes down. That brings us fourth and eleven. So the Aggies running back taken out earlier, sidelined with that injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. George, back deep to return. Tackle at the 38-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Quick throw. Tackle made at the 47. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Miami has a three-point lead. Fires it out. He's at the 40, and he's taken down at the 33. That makes it first and 10. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled right around the 18-yard line. George makes the tackle up at the 18-yard line. First down. From the 18-yard line, it's first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll make it second and four. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes around the five-yard line. Seven-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. Tackled after decent pickup. They're about four yards away here on second down. We've played a half of football here. The Hurricanes with a 10-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses first and foremost did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it uh, every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 22-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the 31. That's a gain of nine on the play. That, that makes it second and two. two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Watch nine, watch nine. He don't know no better. Watch run, 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 run. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That makes his third and three. Hit before he can go anywhere. That's a gain of six on the run. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36 yard line. And they got him for a loss. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. Gets it out complete again to his tight end, and they make the stop at the 37. That makes it first and 10. ten. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. He has some room. They'll bring him down at the 12. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 12-yard line. Around the four yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. This is the ninth play of this drive. Pitches back. Touchdown, Miami. So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. 
They line up to kick this one away. He kicks a low line drive. He'll return it from the three. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The Hurricanes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 24-yard line. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Ready! Looks for his tight end over the middle. And he's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Another pass to the tight end, and he's got it. That's a great tackle at the 46-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. That brings up second and one. Off and he's met immediately. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. Hey, we got tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Hey, watch 28. Check, 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 check. And they get nice yardage on that run. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. They go counter right. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. No that brings up second and nine. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Incomplete, almost picked off. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 20. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Gets nailed and it's intercepted. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. It's first and 10, ball on the 33. Let's it go. Great catch, and he's out of bounds. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. It's first down. They'll be looking for six points here. Right 
And he shoved out of bounds at about the five yard line. Gaining three yards. That brings him second to goal. Get him for a loss. Called a loss of five yards of play. That makes it third and goal. They'll be looking for the end zone here. Third and goal from the nine. He's hit and taken down. Taken back three yards. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. One more quarter to play. The Hurricanes lead it by 17. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Fires quickly that tight end touchdown. The tight end scored that time, and with authority. Brady's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. You knew they had to dial up something big, but these kids really dug deep for an absolutely huge play. And he adds the extra point. Texas A&M gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. Good move. He's going to call for a fair catch. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Nice run up the middle. Game of six yards. That'll, That'll make it second and four. four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Taken down at the 30. Five wide. Quick throw to the tight end. Tackle made at the 36. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on their own 36. Tailback brought down for a loss. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. They can get some protection. They might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Swings it out left to the halfback. And he's taken down at the 48. Number one. From their own 48-yard line. First down. And now he pitches it, heading for the corner. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. Throws into coverage, just picked off. Great catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. First and 10, ball on the 45. A sack on the play. That'll make it second and long. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. 
He's tackled at the 39. That's good for a gain of two yards. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Fires out to his wideout, and he is drilled at the 44. Man, that's tough for this defense. They came so close to stopping the conversion, but they'll have to stay out there again now. Down he goes, around the 31-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That makes it second and eight. Double tight, guys, double tight. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Ready! Open receiver, no good. And here's another third down. Play action. He unloads it. And a man, open touchdown. by the wide receiver and not to take anything away from the quarterback but the wide receiver made this play it was a textbook post route and the pass was right on target here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game he splits the uprights with the extra point Davis has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off he kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 10. Tackle made at the 18. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Miami is up a field goal. He fights forward to about the 19. Hit out of bounds at the 27. That'll make it third. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Less than three minutes in the game. Brought down around the 26 yard line. got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. And this one is a beauty. Balls for the fair catch. Miami's been on fire here in the fourth quarter. They could have used some of this in the first three. Yeah, where was this in the first half? It would have given them a chance to be able to win this game and pull away. Now, they got to hope they can make a play late to win it. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He's under pressure, and they got him. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnovers. From their own 26-yard line, second down. And he hits him hard at the 28. it out in a hurry and they make the stop at the 41 it's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air Brad, I just 
think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. So the Aggies will use their first time out of the half. Third down. Third down again. Under a minute left. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. This is the eighth play of this drive. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Just might do it. Intercepted. Here he goes. The 10. Touchdown, Hurricanes. A big, big score here late in the fourth quarter, and now they've given themselves some breathing room in this football game. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. The 50. At the 30. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, a and in. Boy, is this kid electric. The draw within a field goal. He makes the PAT. What a great effort here. Not just by the return team to cover the onside kick, but also by the kicking team to get themselves in that position in the first place. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball to make sure they don't make any mistakes. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Miami holds a field goal lead. He makes his way to about the 45. They go with a run and that'll be a gain of nine. That makes it third and three. On the ball, on the ball, on the ball. Come on, now. Get down, get we should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Hurricanes get the win. 31-28. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.